All right, so in this video, we will learn that how to implement the API integration using Axios. In the previous video, we have covered that how to do the same using the fetch method. So as you can see right over here. So uh, to use the Axios inside your React application, you need to first install it because Axios is a third party library. So let's come over here and I've already installed it inside my, you know, React project. So what you can do, you can write npm install Axios and after that it will install the Axios inside your React application. And then what you need to do, you need to import the Axios. So as you can see that I have imported the Axios, right? So whenever you are working with a get request, then you can define something like this dot get, right? But if you are working with get, then if you want, then you can remove it. There's no need to de define the get right but for better readability let's just do it right uh, when we are working when we were working with fetch then it was returning us a json but when we work with axios it will not return you a json directly it will return you a json in the pass format so you don't have to fetch a json like this and to convert the json into a parse json right so let me just come over here and what i will do let me just refresh it Sorry, comment it out and let's just console it log all right so if you can see right over here let me just refresh it so basically it is returning all the details regarding the you know api request we just we have just made and along with the response value which we have just received from our api so it is telling me the status it states text the request header which we have received from the you know our api and whatever you will receive the response from api will be written inside this data object so you need to destructure this you know data object so basically what it will do it will return you an array because we are receiving the uh, response array as a response from our api so let's just come over here and let's just destructure it right there right and all right as you can see that we are getting all our arrays and our arrays do have an object with all the details of a rocket right so uh because we have a same name of you we have a you state with the name of data so let's just change the name of the data which we are receiving from the api to api data you can be able to change you can be able to define the alternative name of an object key using this colon and after that you can define your alternative name right so let me just comment it out uncomment it and what i will do i will copy it and paste it out i've already you know passing the api data over here so let me just uncomment it as well so when I will refresh it, then you can see that we are receiving a data from our API. So this is how you can perform the get request inside your, you know, uh, React application using Axios. If you want to add anything like headers inside your get, you know, get request, then inside the second argument, you can pass an object and inside this object, you can define the headers or all the things related to apis you can define this inside the second argument in the case you are working with get request right so for example if you want if we want to pass anything like authorization equal to anything bearer and some token something like this so we can do this with with something like this inside our second argument Alright, if you want to implement the post request inside the Axios, then you can do something like this. You can change the dot get to dot post. And right over here, I do have an API URL for a post. And inside the second argument, you can pass the request body. Right. So right over here, what I will do, I will pass email because this API takes two parameters so I do have a dummy email and password over here 
and this is a fake API city silica right and what I will do let me just remove it response and let's just come over here and set <coughs> alright so this is the you know platform I'm using for a post API so as you can see right over here we have we are you know receiving we, we are trying to hit this API so inside our react application if I console.log then you can see that we are receiving the data inside the data we are receiving our token because this API returns us a token object right <coughs> so this is how you can perform the post request inside your Axios and if you want to add the headers uh, to your API call then inside the third argument you <coughs> you can pass everything uh, it will it will be related to all the you know options so you can pass the headers over here like this whatever it is it will be you know you can pass all those things inside the third argument object so in the next part what we will learn the configure or you can say the instance of uh, Axios basically uh, we do have a method which is called create what it will do let me show you so what I will do I will create a constant variable with the name of API and inside the create method basically it takes an object as an argument and inside this object whatever you will define it will automatically add it you know uh, Axios will automatically add all these things inside your Axios call so let me come over here and write base URL what I will do I will copy this from here right let's cut cut it out and paste it out over here and for uh, you know for a dummy one let's pass anything like um, test equal to testing value right or you can say authorization equal to bearer one two three s yes, etc what it is so now instead of using the axios i can just copy this and paste it over here so let me just come over here then you can see we are still getting the response from an api and if i come over here inside the network call then inside the request header i can show you that the testing property of a header which is called authorization we were sending the testing value a dummy value we were attaching it in our axios call over here so basically what it will do this is a method to if you want to you know include those things for example you are using a uh, protected routes you have uh, hundreds of protected routes right i'm just giving you an example and inside those uh, you know hundred of uh, routes you are making an axios call different axios call but the base url is same but the you know the ending url like in our case it is login this is keep changing and you are also adding the you know authorization token because that is a protected route and so for that it takes a token to verify the api call right so for that what you can do you can create this you know inst instance by using the create method of an axios and you can pass all those things and then you can replace your axios with the constant variable whatever you have defined uh, with the name you know whatever you have uh, assign it to that variable you can use that variable inside your axios so right over here we have replaced the axios with our variable so basically what it did it automatically attach all these things to our axios call so this is a very helpful method it can be very helpful for you whenever you are creating a dynamic application and you are making a dynamic api calls inside your react application so i will see you in the next video have a nice day